my channel so today I'm going to be testing out the metallic acrylic paint from Poundland they have six colors and I think they're really really nice but let's see how well they perform so they don't have specific color names but each container has a number which is there in blue so we are just going to go ahead and do swatches for you so the first is this really vibrant teal kind of aquamarine color i think it's absolutely stunning in the center is purple my favorite color and this is so pretty too next up in line is this light gold Then we have like a bronze colour. That would have been beautiful for autumn. This one is a beautiful rich red burgundy. It's kind of hard for me to pinpoint that colour. And then last but not least is a silver. So these are the swatches up close. And as you can see, depending on where you shine them and how the light is, you can see the reflective metallic. So I'm going to be demoing these on a few of these boxes. I got these from Pound World before they closed and they sort of have a pearlescent feel to them. So these should work really nice. So I'm just taking a small amount on a brush and I'm going to just start painting in no particular style or fashion. These paints straight out of the container are really really smooth you can see how lush that color is they're really really pigmented i was shocked these are only a pound oh my gosh they just they went on so nice i couldn't believe the color payoff was so vibrant and so this is the jade and then i went in with the bronze color and so I'm sorry that I didn't realize until editing that I'm kind of out of shot, but you catch a glimpse of it um, just when I bring it into focus. But don't worry, I do um, do a DIY on all three of the boxes, so you'll get to see the color up closer. So um, yeah, you can just see this one. I felt like I had to just work with it a little bit more quickly. It sort of dried quite quick as I was working but again it was so smooth they're so pigmented as you can see this is just one coat and it's done so much so really really nice to work with and then I'm going in with the silver now it doesn't look as pigmented so you see it on the brush but as I go in and apply it and smooth it out, can you see it's sort of vanishing? It's not as vibrant as the teal or the bronze. It kind is kind of more subtle, I want to say, um, but it's still really beautiful. It still has that sheen, that metallic vibrancy to it. So, but it's just not as vibrant. And I will go and show you later what I did. So I thought I would test using the white acrylic paint as a base and put it over the top just to see how well it performed and whether I could get more opacity from the colour and it did it worked a little bit as you can see it still goes on smoothly but you can get that more metallic feel from the paint you can see it better on the side it applies the same but it's just looking a little bit more darker more richer so depending on what look you're going for it'll be a good idea to prime so up close this is what it looks like my light is fading a little bit here but you'll see them clearer in the next shot this is the bronze beautiful color payoff and the teal stunning and so this is the next day and as you can see they're so vibrant i did actually go in with another coat just to see what it would be like and i just think they're gorgeous so taking a sheet of this scrapbook paper from poundland i've just cut some strips into it and i'm going to add this to decorate the box so going in with some copy dex glue, it's what I had on hand. I just um, applied some to the strip and working from the seam on the box, I attached it from the middle and just pasted it going all the way around. 
I chose this paper because the leaves have a gorgeous kind of mint green um, to the paper as well and I just knew that this would just work perfectly with this colour. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm just applying the next strip. Just moving it out so that there's no wrinkles. And so taking these smaller strips, I'm going to apply them to the lid. Same process, just adding a little bit of copy dex glue and working my way around the top of the lid. And this is what it looks like when they're finished, those two. Love that paper. So now decorating the lid, I'm going to take a piece of the same scrapbook paper and I've just cut a heart on it, applied the glue and stuck it to the lid and I'm going to embellish it a bit more. I just thought of spring when I looked at these papers and so I just grabbed these um, flowers, just the leaves. I've separated a flower that I had, a flower head, and I'm attaching them with the glue gun, with my glue stick being very temperamental and sticking three down. I think things look better in threes or fives. So what do you think? And so they're just easy to stick down. I've added a, a adhesive gem to the center of each flower just to add a little something something just to pretty it up again you could use beads on this you could use gemstones alone ribbon you can really go to town with these boxes I think they're going to be beautiful as little gift boxes trinket boxes you can do whatever you like so attaching that second leaf and this is what it looks like up close Pretty. just reminds me of spring I'm ready and so taking the next one I've just got this diamond wrap again this was from pound world before it's sharp but pound Man do do these but I'm not sure of this color and taking my glue gun I've just attached it um, with the glue and I've just used two rows of that diamond wrap so I've cut them down and just two rows of the gems and I'm just attaching those and then I've gone in with a second strip, again two rows. Again, you could do these in any colour. If you chose that gorgeous purple metallic, you could do purple gems, you know, silver ones, you could do the, the clear ones. That would look stunning. Um, and just go for it. So I'm going to embellish the top with this metallic flower. Um, I got these in a stash from a job lot on eBay. So now I'm just attaching one of the yellow gemstones, adhesive gems, and then attaching that all together with some hot glue. Again, those straggly bits of <laughs> glue getting on my nerves. So just put, put popping that in the center, holding it there for a bit, and then you will see this all in its glory. Look at how the light hits this, guys. I mean, it's beautiful. And so this was one I did earlier. This is in the light gold and I've just put some uh, gold glitter on the top and then the yellow gems around it to adorn it. So those are those three pieces done. And in true Blue Peter fashion, <laughs> here's a little product I made earlier. So this box was available from Poundland and I've just gone in with some yellow, pink, the metallic purple and the metallic jade green and I've just did a kind of ombre effect the top piece is actually some scrapbook paper I thought that come out lovely I still haven't finished it and then this home sign again guys you're gonna kill me this was from Poundwell before it closed so I just wanted to see how well the metallic paints would perform on wood that's not been primed that's just a color straight out the pan if you like this video please give it a big fat thumbs up I'll see you in my next one guys. Take care. Bye.